Welcome to the Kingspiration Podcast. This is the place where you'll learn how to get unstuck and gain momentum in your life and business. Each week, we tackle the real aspects of entrepreneurship, personal development, relationships, and fitness. I'm your co-host, Ethan King, from Atlanta, Georgia, USA, entrepreneur, TEDx speaker, and best-selling author of Wealth Beyond Money. And I'm your co-host, Justin King, no relation to Ethan, from Cape Town, South Africa, entrepreneur, speaker, and business growth strategist. Our journey crosses continents and cultures, sharing wisdom and experiences to propel you forward. Welcome to Kingspiration. Let's start the conversation. Okay, so in today's episode, we are talking about change, how to change behavior, how to, you know, when you know you need to make a shift in your life, but we're reluctant to do it. And I'm inspired by a quote or rather a question that I saw somewhere and it said, why do we prefer familiar hells over unfamiliar heavens? So what do you, what are your thoughts about that, Justin? Like, why do we, why do we do that? Like we know we're in a, a bad situation or, or not so bad, but it, we know it could be better situation. Why do we stay in the, in the bad situation or the not so bad situation instead of reaching for the heavens? So as it comes back to the, to the term we've all heard so many times, the, the comfort zone. And then mm-hmm. that, that is essentially what it is. Um, that which we know, if even if it's not great, is is less scary than that which is on the other side of the of the wall. The wall being the decision that we need to make to actually make a change, and it's very closely linked. And you and you not you and I were chatting about this region beta paradox, and it, re, it re, essentially what what it speaks about is this concept of this trap we fall into if things are just they're not that bad. They're not great, but they're not that bad. And when things are not that bad, the effort to go to something which is unfamiliar is seen as, as too much of an effort. It's, it's too scary to, to go towards that unf- unfamiliar. So what actually has to happen in order for us to make a change is that things that are not that bad need to get progressively worse. They need to get so bad that it forces you. And I think this goes to, to the burning platform that you mentioned, but it has to, it has to get so bad that you actually forced to make that change because when it's just not too bad, the effort and, as I say, the fear of what's on the other side of that, that wall of change, it's just too much for, for a lot of individuals to, to really take the plunge. Yeah, definitely. And I can could, I could think of a time in my life, um, this was, I guess, about 20 or so years ago uh, when I was pretty much unemployed. I was, I was working at a, at a strip club at a, taking out the trash. I was a bar back at a strip, at a strip club and it was an awful, humiliating job, but it was all I could find at the time. And I, I was working there for like two years and I was going to school in the day, I was working there at night. And I kind of had this feeling like there's, I can do more with my life. Like I, I wasn't destined to do this, but I wasn't making a big enough effort to make a change. It was just kind of in the back of my mind. And then one day on my way to the club, I got robbed. I got carjacked at gunpoint. And after that moment, I just, I was like, I'm done with this lifestyle. It, it was just, it was, a, it was already kind of a dangerous environment. Um, I knew that I didn't need to be there. And after that moment, I never went back. I never went, you know, I never worked there again. So that was that burning platform for me, you know, which is if you if you Google burning platform, it's a change management theory. And it made me make that change that I've been putting off for so long. So I think about that moment and all of these pivotal moments that we have in our lives. We think about these inflection points in our lives where we made a drastic change, like a 90 degree turn or something like that. And. I believe that, you know, and I want to hear your thoughts on this. Can you trick yourself into thinking that there is a burning platform? Like maybe if you want to get in shape or lose weight, and maybe you're not terribly out of shape, but you you want to be better. But if you had a health scare and the doctor said, hey, if you don't lose 20 pounds, you're going to die in six months. That's a pretty good motivator, right? Um but if you if you don't have that burning platform that you have to jump off of, then can you trick yourself? Can you trick your brain into thinking that you do and to motivate change? What do you think about that? Yeah, uh, what comes to mind is 
how do we hack our rock bottom? Because uh, that, that's where my mind's gone now is so many times people speak about making this, I'm going to use the word transformative change in their lives after hitting a rock bottom. And now based on what we've just been speaking about, I think maybe at times, not always, at times, people possibly use that term rock bottom quite loosely just to refer to that moment where the status quo or just staying in that space of this isn't that great got bad enough that they decided that I need to, I need to make this change. So how do we hack, as you say, how do we trick ourselves? Or how do we hack <laughs> this, this burning platform or this idea of, of my status quo is, is horrible, is terrible. Yeah. A change needs to, to be made. And maybe it's, maybe it's a case of and this one's coming back to you because this is definitely in your space, but maybe it's a case of some form of visualization. Mm-hmm. If we're going through a set of qu- set of questions, where am I currently? Uh, where would I prefer to be in my current? And there's something along the lines of, in, if if I was if I am to continue on my current path or in, with this current decision or in, in my current job in my current relationship, where do I see this ending up in six months' time? And mm-hmm. and kind of you've got to say worst case scenario, what is this going to look like? And then sit there and sit with that. Visualize it. Sit with that. Let your body feel the emotion of of hitting that that space of the the rock bottom, worst worst possible outcome. And then ask yourself, is that what I want? Right. Yeah. You actually can hack it. You you just reminded me of something. About ten years ago, I went to a Tony Robbins event, and um, I don't know. If, have you ever been to a Tony Robbins event? Uh, sure, I haven't. Unfortunately. Man, that guy. He speaks for 12 hours nonstop. I mean, the level of energy was absolutely insane. Um, you know, it, 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 at times it felt a bit weird and cultish, I'll admit, but overall it, it was definitely an impactful and transformative experience. But there was one segment he did, and it, this was kind of a bonus where um, we had already been up from 10 a.m. till midnight and then you know, listening to him talk and going through different workshops. And then he came back at 2 a.m. and did this exercise with us called, uh, I think he called it the Dickens, like Charles Dickens exercise. And um, if you think of the the Christmas story by Charles Dickens, where you see the ghost of Christmas past, the ghost of Christmas present and future. And so he takes you through this NLP exercise, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and he, he basically had us all visualize what our future will look like if we continue this behavior, like whatever that behavior is. It's different for everyone. Let's say I, I smoke cigarettes or whatever. Well, OK, let's project 30 years out. How does that look for me? And the way he did it was so artful and masterful, you know, with the, the music and the words he was saying. It really took me mentally to a place where. Um, you know, it, it, you feel that pain of your future self if you don't make the change. And then he brings you back to the present to where you can change it sw- simply by swapping out like the tapes. Um, you put in a different tape in the, like, I don't, and I don't know, you're, you're younger than me. I don't know if you remember VCRs, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but it's like, okay, you pull out a different, you eject that VCR tape and you put in a different VCR tape. And now you've basically changed your present so that you have a new future. But you have to take yourself mentally to that place of pain in order to hack, like you said, hack rock, rock bottom. I like that term. And then make that shift so that you have a, a brighter future so that you go to that heaven and you don't end up in the hell. I think we've just come up with an amazing framework here, Ethan. And what I really like about it or what I love about it is our brains and our bodies don't know the difference between the act of something or something in reality, or if we're manifesting or visualizing it rather than manifesting, if we actually visualize it, our our brains don't know the difference. So I think there's going to be something very powerful and scary. I think you've got to be courageous and brave to sit down and kind of hack, hack your rock bottom and really sit with that feeling and let it, and let it hang there. But very often that's, that is what is going to catalyze the change. And that's on each of us to actually take the action, pull the trigger and make that change in our own lives. That, that will be on us. But it's a, man, it's a scary, it's a scary thought, to be honest, 
So it's a very, as I say, a very brave step for somebody to sit there and be willing to sit with that. But if if you do, I think it'll take you from a, a comfort zone to a transformative zone. Yeah. I think transformative, transformative and transformation is where you're embracing both that which is uncomfortable and unfamiliar. That is, an, that is a place of just like, if you can sit there long enough, magical things will, will happen. And, right. and that's where this will take you. 100%. So guys, go look up the region beta paradox. Go look up uh, the burning platform theory. Uh, it's all about behavior change management and how you can hack rock bottom, how you can hack transformative change in your life. Amazing. Hope you enjoy. I will hope you guys enjoyed this one and we will see you on the next episode. That's a wrap for today's episode of Kingspiration. We hope this conversation sparked insights to ignite action in your life and business. We're on this journey together, sharing our challenges and successes to help all of us take the next step towards building momentum and ultimately reaching our goals. If you found value in today's episode, please share it with someone else who might benefit and leave us a five-star review. And remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on our weekly conversations. Until next time, keep rolling, keep growing, and keep being inspired.